Okay, here, now we're recording. Okay. And... My name's Ed. Yes, and it's June 22nd, and this is Lonnie Clark with Nuts for Art on YouTube channel. And I'm going to ask Ed some questions about what he knows, three basic questions. Uh, I'll throw them all out at you at one time. What do you know about radiation? Okay. What do you think about nuclear power? And what do you think we should do with radiation? Well, having been a child that grew up in the Cold War, I learned a lot about radiation. The main thing I learned is that any radiation at all is harmful, no matter how minuscule the amount, which is why they're so careful when they take x-rays of you and do all of the rest of that stuff. Do you know what it causes? I guess that's a fourth question. Well, radiation is one of the primary contributors to different types of cancer, but it causes all sorts of other things besides cancer. Um, and another thing I know about radiation is that the government has not been really careful with it ever since the beginning. It's kind of spread all over the United States and all over the world at low levels. In the early 60s, there was a big scandal because the milk was full of radiation. Um, what do I know about nuclear power? Um, I know that it was promised to be clean, cheap energy, and it hasn't turned out really to be any of those things. It's dirty, it's polluted, polluting everything, and they're still dealing with the waste from the very first nuclear reactors they ever built. They still don't know what to do with the stuff. So what do you say to the IAEA and the scientists that say that radiation has, does, has not caused much harm, and the waste, while it's hard to manage, hasn't really caused a problem? Well, I think when you're dealing with a substance that has half-lives in the range of 30,000 years, that you have to do a lot longer studies, you have to watch this stuff for a long time, there's a lot of conflict with scientists, some saying one thing and some saying the other, but we don't really know and can't know what the long-term effects are, so anything we do without knowing what it's going to do in 500 years, 1,000 years, 10,000 years. We're just gambling. Well, then, do you know what's going on in Hanford? Well, Hanford's another big mess. Hey, Ed, do you mind if I ask you more questions? Because I did say only three. That's okay. No, okay. Hanford's <laughs> just a big mess. I mean, what can I say about Hanford? It's another typical scenario where they thought they were going to know how to deal with stuff. And then they changed their mind and realized the first tanks were good enough, so they built other tanks and transferred everything to other tanks, and now those tanks are corroding away. And they don't really have any sort of solution, and as is typical with stuff like this, it seems like a lot of corporations are making money even though they aren't doing what their job specified they're supposed to do. Well, they're doing something, that's true. But my question to you is, what do you think about the Columbia Generating Station only being 15 miles from those nuclear fuel pools that are leaking? Well, uh... Are you stunned to hear that? Yeah, I was shocked to hear that. And do you think we should all call Ron Wyden and our elected senators and tell them we need to call up the NRC and demand that the generating station, now that Hanford's out of control, be shut down?